I have an XGS app and I need to check the permission on who can see products or not. To do so, I'm going to use permi.io that will help me to check every permission of every user. And if you need the code to replicate what I'm doing, check the link in the description. On permit dashboard, I'm going to click on policy on the sidebar and I'm going to go to resources. The first thing we want to do is to create a new resource. So for example, it can be a product and I'm going to put underscore one and click on save. Once it's done, we can see here that we got a product underscore one and I'm going to create three other products with underscore to be able to identify them. To do so, we are going to use this key that we can see here. On my app, I have several posts and as we can see here, the ID correspond to the name of the resource. If I go to roles, I can see suddenly that three roles have been created, admin, editor and viewer. And if I go on policy editor, we can see here that I got all the roles access to every product and I can click on the permissions depending on the role. So let's make some changes. Let's say that the editor can't read product one and viewer can't read product one and two. Now I'm going to go to directory and I'm going to add my first users that will get access to the app. Let's start with Kelly. Let's say that Kelly at gmail.com and as a first name, I'm going to put Kelly. We'll have a top level access of a viewer. So the role viewer. Once Kelly is created, I'm going to create a second user called a Bruce. And Bruce basically will have a different role. He will have the editor role. So I'm going to go to the top level access and add the editor role to Bruce. Of course, the last user that I'm going to add, it's me, Code with Guillaume, and I'm going to get the major role, which is the admin role. I will be able to do everything. Okay, this is done. We got our three users. They all have a different role. So we will be able to play with our products and to see what permission they got access to. But Permit.io isn't just a basic tool. It's fully API driven with an SDK. It means you can set up and update permissions with code using their SDK instead of clicking around in a dashboard. Okay, we are back on the Next.js app and I just created an endpoint called API permission with a root.ts file. I just installed the SDK of Permit and I initiate a Permit client. And this simple endpoint is going to just check the permission of the current user ID depending on the action in the resource and is going to return an answer if the user is permitted or not. Now I'm going to use Postman and in the description you can find a link to the gist with all the endpoints that I'm going to use. And we're going to start by checking the condition for me. So remember I'm an admin so I'm supposed to see everything. I'm going to check for product one and if I click on send there we go. I'm permitted to read product one and if we check for product two it should be the same. For product free, it should be the same also. There we go. Now let's check for Bruce. And remember, he's not able to read product one, so it works, but he is able to read product two and product free because he's got an editor role. Now let's check for Kelly. And remember, Kelly has a viewer role, so she can't read the product one, she can't read the product two, but she can read the product free. On my Next.js application, there is a post item with a check permission that is going to check the permission for every post item. And it's going to call our API endpoint with the current user on the current resource, only the action read. So if I'm logged in as Kelly, I can see only the product free. If I'm logged in as Bruce, I can see product two and three exclusive to editors. And if I'm logged in as Code with Guillaume, the admin, I can see every product. This is working thanks to permit. And if I go to policies, I can, of course, change every permission. All right, this was a quick demo to start with permit.io and simple permissions. But this tool also handles very advanced and complex permission system, such as ABAC and Reback. And you got a good example here on the documentation of permit. If you go to Google Drive and Zanzibar, you can learn how to create Google Drive permissions with the Reback system through Permit. And which is amazing, guys, it's that they have ready-made components to make this setup faster. But so far, you can go on Permit.io and create an account for free and try it. It's an amazing product.